hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is john chibikin so today i'll be teaching you how to i'll be showing you introduction to pz lab how to use pz lab right so introduction to pz lab uh, first thing i believe by now you should have gotten access to pz lab or if you don't know how to get a pz lab all you have to do is to type on uh, uh, let me do not disturb is to go to your google play store your google play store here is it then just type the word pz lab pz lab uh, is not hidden it's not hard to locate this is it you can see it here this is the icon so click on it mine will show me to update because i have it installed on my phone right so all you have to do is to click on it to install all right so once you are done installing it let's head over to the app okay, so here is the pz app here okay so here is it down this my one is pro version but it doesn't mean it's still the same similar interface right so first thing first once you come to the interface uh, this is going to look like let me start from the beginning okay like i said this is the pro version but once you open it this is how it should be if you're using pro this approach you appear but if you're not using pro it's similar stuff right so it's not something uh difficult right so all we have to do from here now you discover we have two uh two should i call it session this there's upper session or upper two and there is also the dumb part all right so quickly without wasting much of our time we start from the up session so on up here you see where this arrow is pointing now which is plus icon under this plus icon you have test current state sticker shapes and um, from gallery then draw this test is to add a test this current date is you know the date of you are doing something then sticker is to all this normal sticker use on uh whatsapp social media and all that shapes is what we make is combination of shape we used to form some certain designs like so from gallery means to import your videos your pictures from gallery to into the visual app then draw means to draw something right so and the next after it is this icon here which is this one that the yellow is pointing at this one we call is that is the icon to save you see save as project so and save as image right let me just show you i might come back to explain better okay let me just explain uh, once so this save as project the first one you want to tap on it save as project it means if you are working on any project and then you want to for example you are working for the client and uh, maybe the client will love to do some adjustment once you save it as uh what's it called once you save it as project you should be able to return back to for example once you save it as project you are going to be seeing my project but if you if you don't have any project that you will not be showing my project you will just be seeing project written there okay for example here are some of my designs right here here are some of my designs so for example if i want to come back to any of these settings any of these if i want to re-edit any of these things so can you see so i can be able to do some little adjustments to it so that is on that let's return back let's continue let's continue the next icon here the arrow is pointing is what we call with the icon i believe you know what it stands for is um share so under this share you can decide to share to friends or you can also use here to save your icon right okay that is on that and this save as image is where you save it after you have done designing okay so under this image format please take notes only use png and then under this um quality only use ultra to maintain the design quality right so how that is clear so moving forward to the next icon up here is uh, what you call motivational um quotes quotes the motivational quotes anyone so under here you see different quotes and all of that all of that and all of that so you just have to go through it so moving forward quickly to the first upper lines is three stroke three dotted lines so click on it so this three dotted line is just like um replication of replication of what is in the main design stuff so basically what you need to take note of here is one this uh, open plp file all right so second one is this image size then a spot image use image so all this export image is, is is more like that uh, save as image so i don't think we should be coming this long part journey to export your image so the only thing you need to take note of here very very important is your image size because this is there you determine the size of um the flyer and everything you are working for let's assume i want to design a youtube banner or something like of something like that this is it so come to this image size and is any business guide or anything you are designing okay so you can as well put your own size you can put your own size i don't you can just put your own size right so that is it and that is that on that so moving on to the next place here is this plus icon so this plus icon basically means to zoom so i believe you can see it the way the screen is moving to see what you are doing clearly so you zoom it to see your work uh, especially when you are doing with alignment purpose okay so this one here is what we call table uh 
table guideline i personally call it lula or guideline okay so for example you want to make sure that something is properly in align and following the same pattern that is when you use it all right so moving on to the next uh stuff here is uh this is it is if you want to see the what you have been working on right okay let's do something this test let's add something let's add something introduction to pizella introduction introduction let's just do something now um, delete this please allow just put please allow all right introduction to please allow awesome so that that is it on that all right so let's do something here let's add shape let's just do some kind of stuff this is just for i want to show you something all right so let's move on to the next icon i wanted to show you so follow this arrow now here this particular tool here is to see your tools right to see the tools you are this is it under here you have this eyes icon is to hide the particular object all right so this button stuff this key is to block it from moving okay so you can see this one can move again right so it will help you then this is a deed panel to edit it and all of that and then this is delete very simple right so we are done in covering the obsession we are done with covering the obsession right so quickly i want to show you the dance session but one thing you should know that what is up is what is down that is is just like the application of upper um up level and down level like they just repeated what they have done up in the down panel so it just is the same thing there's no there's no difference so this is it for example you can see the plus icon here the member is also up here right okay so you can see this quote this is quote here all right so that is it so they are just replication all right so but there's something i want to show you the only difference that under this uh down part you see this particular a a here that is what it is representing test itself so under this a that is where you see test and quotes and you edit anything relating to test under this uh, other icon here is where you see shapes draw uh, Bezier to all of that and all of that. I'm going to show you a few of them. Then here is like the background, the background, right? Where you change the background and all that. Then this one now is a manipulation. Then this is to return back to the initial uh, piece of stuff. Okay, so you can see I've tapped on this first one here. I hope you can see it this way, man. So you can see different the pro version actually come with some features, right? So you can see it. These are some features on pro version. Okay. So let's come back. I love using default. I love using default. Okay. So um so let's move on to test under this damp part. You can decide to use A, test tap on A, or you can come to plus up icon on top. Once you tap on A, then tap on this plus icon, then you can now add your image, your test. You can add your test. You are still using introduction. Introduction still using introduction this is not a class it's just for introduction so i, I won't you won't expect it to be that nice you won't expect me to pay to begin to design i'm just this it introduction to pizza okay so the, under this once you have, you have written a test you can see let me show you something let me show pay attention you see now that is under a there's not nothing came up here nothing is showing here nothing is showing here there's nothing showing here right but let's assume now that i've written test now you can now see there are a lot of things a lot of things showing down here so that is it so once you have written something you're going to already see this edit panel okay like i said replication of what is up and down you can see this pencil icon have appear up here now also as we load something so in the same thing you can use up this pencil icon or use that see they see the pencil icon down here to edit the test then this is to delete okay then this is to copy be very simple then to, this is to send your your test to the backward okay let me show you what i mean here this test there are two tests here one is on top one all right so let's assume i want to send it to the backward now i want this one this blue color to go to the back of the white i tap on the back hope it's clear now then if i want it to come front i bring it front then this is position you know to arrange it position and all of that and all of that then this relative position no this one is to make it come to the center faster move and um, all of that and all of that then this is the size you use the size the size how you want the test to be small big or whatever you can equally use it to reduce the size okay so this is padding increase left you can see so all of this you just need to i don't want this video to be so long and it's taking time already so i don't want it to take that much long okay so here is where you change the color all right so you give it the color that you want to use right so before you are design i believe you must have do your research and all of that then this texture is more like if it's called a draw what we call our clip but here it's called texture to put let's assume i want 
uh, to put a particular stuff inside the test let's assume i want this color uh let me check if i can see any color uh okay okay so as i want to put this particular lady's shirt this color of her clothes inside that test like so i can just you can see it so you see that is how we achieve it that is work of texture then after texture the next one is opacity the opacity is to reduce the transparency then this one is rotates and all of that and all of that so basically this mask is a full stuff on its own so i won't be going through this aspect this is what we use for bow logo designing and some manipulations on piece it up okay so that will maybe a full tutorial will be coming on that right so this is the font where you come to change your font this is of default follow com font right so these are the ones i downloaded so i believe you have not to download fonts if you don't have to download fonts I'll, I'll be doing a video on that you'll be getting access to how to download fonts right so secondary is also the style okay this style is where you can make it bold and all of that so moving forward is curve so this thing just play around it on your own you'll be able to get to know it this is background to add background to the uh, test right so this is background um this alignment center alignment left alignment in the course of our tutorial platicals the platical sessions and the assignment session you'll be able to see all of that so i make use of them then spacing and all of that and all of that all right so this is stroke to add a stroke to it okay this is stroke uh, before i add the stroke this is stroke Okay, to add the stroke to it let me remove the background so that you see the stroke line very very well so this is the stroke here let's increase the stroke let's increase the stroke so can you see what i'm saying all right so moving on this is shadow all right so um this is shadow and so i believe we are still on that test icon this test 3d so these are some of the things you should know in graphic when it comes to on that test and this thing will appear when you want to edit a particular test for example it has disappeared because i didn't tap on a test now I tap on it it will appear for you to edit it so moving on to the next icon to the next two under the damp panel is this here here you come about sticker is still under this plus icon here if you still remember uh import import is more like this from gallery right so that is the word they use on the import to import something to import a flyer right to import this is it i've imported this particular design okay so this is to draw so you can use this to draw anything you can use it to draw anything you can use it to draw anything all right uh then give it a color after drawing yeah yeah so that is on that that is on that okay so this is shape under shape we have different shape here so you can see the shape so under this tap on this bracket or this arrow pointing down you see the provided shapes so you can tap on it and then you you edit it to your test opacity and all of that but in case the shape you want to use is not here you can only search the internet for the shape so this this is bezel tool this bezel tool is a huge work on its own right so it's another session that needs uh, serious attention if i begin to explain now you might take a longer period and this is already 17 minutes this is allows too and all of that so moving on to the next panel okay one thing you should notice we should know here is that once you are any of this let's say for example you import a sticker this is a sticker different sticker right so this is a sticker once you have a sticker like this you can see it right so once you tap on sticker the edit panels will be opened it will be open for you to edit it so basically i've explained this is more like the same test so i've explained the test uh, sorry i've explained this stuff doing under the test session so i won't be explaining much so you can see to crop is to edit so this stuff um to copy is to duplicate to move it to front like i've explained the test position relative i've pos uh, explained this, the color the texture i've explained opacity this color filters okay let me talk on color filters is to you know yeah, you can see what is happening you can see what is happening to change the edit the brightness saturations and all of that and all of that so this eraser is to erase a particular part of object you don't want in pc lab okay so that is it. you can see what is it's up on the place we just create now all right so this mask is also another work um is more like manipulations to get a particular stuff you are looking for right okay so that's <coughs> is on that then this erase color is more like okay let's do something erase color is more so can you see now you see it's more like removing background right erase color so tap on it it activate it and the white background is gone okay so that is on that rotate um 3d rotate um 
so that 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 so the point i want to do guys is once you tap on on any icon any shape any image or whatsoever that is when they will bring out this all this edit panel here right that is when they will bring out this edit panel but once you do tap on object this is what is going to be showing here right this test and to tap on anything so moving on to the second to the last uh two here which is this one so it's very simple this one is basically 19 minutes okay this one is basically uh introduction to this is background ladder i said it earlier this is background if you this is to change the background color you can see it changing all right so this is background this is transparent like if you don't want your design to be with a background if you want it to just appear transparent background you only the test or what you design you don't want to it to carry any background that is what you make use of transparency so this image size is more like remember i said it here image size that is the design to define the size you want to use for your work right so this fine the size you want to use for your work okay okay so this other one here is image image they have some provided image for you from pc up okay this is for proof i don't think is available on the normal this thing but it's still the same thing because i will never advise you to go with any of the uh, image episode of provided template i always this live designing from afresh okay so the next thing here after image is from gallery so this from gallery basically is if you download some kind of uh, background you want to use for your design so i believe once you want to do on a, any work on any design you must have done some kind of research and all that so once you are done we have done with the research then you download some certain background you want to use you can just come to this place to select them you can see so i just imported this background okay so you can just uh once you download any background this is where you want to, you come to import the background before you edit then this camera to take a snap on which i don't think anybody have done that <laughs> instead of you to snap before the journey is better you will download okay so moving on to the last session here the last stuff i want to show you which is this particular one here this one is all talk about editing um this background now editing the background can you see what is happening right so i hope you are seeing so this place session is to edit the background so you can see the work this this you whenever you are designing you want to make use of it it's left to you to come here and you know play around it to see if it will give you what you you are looking for all right so contrast all of that and all of that so that is it about it so there's no big work here very simple and i've taken you throughout the whole of pc lab the whole of pc lab this is the full introduction to pc lab thank you for watching and please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button right away and also click hit the notification button to be getting notified whenever i drop a video thank you for staying